Greetings, YouTube. It's been about a week since we were told in a bombshell announcement that Kabam was coming out with six star champions. It was supposed to be this glorious day. Well, personally, when I heard the news, I was honestly ticked off. It completely took me by surprise. There was no reason why I thought this should exist in the first place. And I instantly went to my champions and stared at the screen of what you're looking at now. I looked at my five-star duped Star-Lord, the pride of two years of playing this game. This is a guy that I was told, and largely had to believe, was the best person to own. And I look at him, and I think to myself, man, someday I'm going to get to upgrade him to rank five. He's only 80% done. This is like building a car, a, a Porsche, and not even having the paint job finished. Hell, the brakes aren't on. And I don't know what the hell a tier 5 basic catalyst is. It looks like a, a circular Rubik's Cube that maybe you'd steal from a child. But regardless, we need those damn things to rank him up to the best of the best. And so the announcement we were all waiting for, of course, was to rank him up. But instead of that, we get this announcement that he is going to be completely devalued, as all 5 stars are. People that we barely have, a lot of players have maybe one or two, no chance for even duping theirs, because we're going to get six-star champions, and we're supposed to be excited about this. We're supposed to be excited about the fact that all five-stars are now going to be devalued to four-stars and three-stars to two-stars. It makes no sense. It's a slippery slope president where now, when we look at our champions, I don't even, first off, how are you even at six stars on one of these graphics? Good luck, Kabam Design Team. That's going to look like a joke, but regardless... What's there not to say there's going to be 7 stars or 8 stars or 10 stars? Every time we get to the finish line, they're just going to move it. And so there's probably a lot of people out there who are feeling the same pain I'm feeling, and I hope this can be a voice for the community. Because we're already being milked. We may not all be whales, but we're being told to chase after these 15k featured champion crystals that have allegedly a 15-20% to 20 chance to get the featured champion. Well, I don't know about you. But I have a 0% chance so far of getting them. I'm 0 for 5. I know people who are as bad as 0 for 12. And then we're told, hey, if you don't get them, no worries. You'll get the sub-featured champions. Well, my experience has been that if you buy into that logic at all, you will wave goodbye to a Dr. Voodoo or a Hyperion or an Archangel long enough to stare into the soul as they pass you by just in time to land on a Spidey Gwyn, or an Iron Patriot, or a Hulkbuster. A freaking Hulkbuster. Which, now we're supposed to be excited about the chance to get a 6-star version of a trash can? I don't think so. Kabam has betrayed the trust of the community, its mission, its concept of the game that we love so much. And these whales that are funding it are soon to be extinct. And when they become extinct, the funding for the game is going to dry up. A company's value is only as strong as its ability to continue to keep and develop the trust and appreciation of us, its consumers. And it's failed at that. It's continued time and time again to give us bugs and to take money from having to do potions and revives. But every time we benefit, we are punished. And six stars are a true scam that are only meant to be our latest form of punishment. So that's my rant, and I just wanted to say thanks for all the support, especially this week. I didn't think my channel would ever get 100 views. I never thought I'd get 100 subscribers, nevertheless what it's got now. Special shout-out to the number one fan, Diego Reynoso. Bro, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. You were here when I was just happy to get 10 views, and you are going to be here long after it passes. So guys, go out to your alliances, to the forums, Make your voice heard, and let Kabam know that if they continue to treat us, we're going to go away, and suddenly their corporate offices are going to be as empty as their promises. Thanks for watching.